In neighborhoods where children play and parents work to provide a safe place for their children to live, some criminals get away with murder. Channel 2 investigates discovered hundreds of murders over the past three and a half years that are unsolved in Houston, leaving some communities in fear. Tonight, investigator Robert Arnold reveals the neighborhoods with the higher number of unsolved cases and the effect that it's having on families who live there. Each trim from a razor, each spritz and each shot of hairspray shows Harvey Carroll is taking a stand. I can't be afraid of where I am. Can't be afraid of what's going on around here. Carroll's father opened this barber shop in 1964 at the intersection of Bell Arbor and MLK. My dad's bait. This was my dad's shop. This is his dream. I'm going to make sure that I you know, keep his dream alive. Over the decades, he's seen violence grow in the neighborhood. Are you concerned out here? Very much so. Carol's Barbershop is in an area just south of the loop between 288 and the Gulf Freeway. This is an area that also saw some of the highest number of homicides in the last three and a half years. 180, 42 percent, have not yet been solved. Numbers, residents of the area know well. Most of us want to just stay hidden in Cornito because we feel for our families. Some of the unsolved murders in this area include three people killed in an apartment on MLK Boulevard in 2016. Another, the murders of a boyfriend and girlfriend on Edinburgh near Westover in 2015. The cross still marks that spot, and a family member told us, we worry whoever did this will still come after us. We moved out of the area. Channel 2 investigates looked at homicides reported by HPD from January 2015 through June of this year. Out of 997 cases, 41 percent have yet to be solved. Something else we noticed. There appear to be more clusters in the southeast and southwest parts of town. Why did there seem to be more murders in this area of town as opposed to others? Not coincidentally, that's also where a large part of our gang problem is. Commander Michael Skillern says gang-related murders can also prove difficult to solve. A large swath of southwest Houston with pockets of gang problems showed 272 murders since 2015, 44 percent listed as open. There are a lot of times that we know who the suspects are, we just can't get anybody to talk to us and be witnesses. A lot of fear of retaliation. Fear definitely prompts silence in many of these neighborhoods. If you snitch, basically you down now. If that person finds you. Mind my own business, try to stay out of trouble. But trouble will find you, you know? It doesn't matter who you are. Many people who live here say trusting police is another issue. We're prompted not to talk because you don't come to us unless it's something you want. And that's not a good view. Carol says officers who get to know the communities they patrol can help override the fear of retaliation. That is highly important because the issue is if I don't know who you are, I can't relate to you. Skillern says HPD is making a concerted effort to build those bridges. We haven't focused uh, as strongly in, in many, many years ago as we should have on building those relations, and they, they take time. What's up, man? <laughs> Back at Carol's barber shop, reality intrudes on this safe space. A young man in the chair gets a text there's been a shooting near his old high school. What? Yeah, like just now. Hey, where? Uh, Lamar High School. Carol remains determined to stay put, giving honest haircuts for an honest price and summer jobs to neighborhood kids. He believes the area will turn around and wants to do his part to make that happen. You still have golden nuggets in the community. You can't give up on those. You can't give up on those. Something else HPD pointed out, a fair share of murders involve criminals attacking other criminals. Last year, 73% of homicide victims had prior criminal records, more than half of which were felonies. As for this map, we've put that under the investigate section of click2houston.com. It's got the location of homicides and the status of the investigations. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.